What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I apologize for the background noise. My air conditioning's on because it is hot still. It's really hot in the Bay Area and it's really hot up here. But look, here I am, back in my filming space. A lot of you guys have asked where all my Funko Pops went. They're still here. And why I haven't been filming and it's just because it's been so hot. But I wanted to come back up here so I can kind of separate my living space from my filming space because I have been filming downstairs. I'm sorry, I just ran. Like just sprinted up the stairs. I don't know why I did that. I'm so tired. Anyways, I wanted to separate my filming space just because it was getting a little bit crowded down there. And uh, yeah, I wanted to make this quick video just to tell you guys that there's gonna kind of be some shifts on my channel. I've been thinking a lot lately about my channel. I love my YouTube channel. I love you guys. I love filming videos for you, but I've had a really rough go at it the past couple of years. Ever since my car accident, like I felt like my channel was like rising really well. And then after my car accident, it kind of paused. And then it just kind of, it's been a weird fluctuation. It's been really difficult for me because I was so on top of it before my car accident. I was filming every single day, multiple times a day, and lately it's just been hard. It's been really hard. Um, I've had a lot of challenges in life that have been hard. But I realized one of the things too is like, I love Funko Pops. You guys, if you've been with me for a while, you know. I used to be so excited when I would open a sub box that had a Funko Pop in it. And I got really into Funko Pops. I really loved them, like truly loved them. And then I became kind of a Funko Pop collector where it became a little bit more about values and not so much because I truly liked it. And then it got really competitive because now they have Funko Pops for everything. And then it just started to cause like so much stress, so much stress, additional stress that I, anxiety, stress and anxiety that just like when they would have a drop or like there'd be a con release. I was actually thinking about it and was kind of relieved. I saw that they sent, Funko sent all the emails for the lottery for New York Comic Con. And I was actually kind of relieved that I didn't get it. One, for my wallet, and two, just for like, just to not have that stress of like, make sure you get there on time and get all your stuff and all that stuff. You're competing with other people. And that used to be fun. That's like the hunt. It used to be fun, but then it kind of, I don't know, something shifted at some point. And I still like Funko Pops, but I wouldn't say that I love them as much as I did before. And with that being said, I'm still going to do Funko Pop mystery boxes every so often. I literally just bought one, I'll be honest. I just bought one. I really like the prizes. I'm just going to be a little bit more selective about it. I'm probably not going to buy as many random Funko Pops anymore because they're literally they're literally taking over my house. I have Funko Pops on the staircase. I have them downstairs in a little nook. I have them all up here. They're all they're on this table. You can't see them. It's just getting a little bit out of control. So not only am I going to be really a lot more selective about what I get, I'm also going to actually start looking at selling all of my extras, but also even some Funko Pops for my collection because my collection's getting out of control. At some point, I guess I thought I wanted to be like one of those pop collectors that had like. 5,000 pops in my collection and I just don't need to be that person at all. One of the shifts though that you're gonna see on my channel, so I'm gonna apologize in advance, that's why I'm making this video, is that uh, if you guys, again, have followed me for a while, you know that I really like Pokemon cards. I really like Pokemon cards. I collected Pokemon cards when I was a young child, uh, when they actually first came out. I actually collected Japanese cards before I collected American cards or English cards because there was no English cards. When I first started collecting Pokemon cards, they didn't have English cards yet. I was collecting Japanese cards and then at some point they actually released like English versions of them and I was like, this is cool. Um, so I just went back to my old house and got my old school Pokemon binder, which was super, super fun. And uh, throughout the years I filmed a ton of Pokemon pack openings just every so often. I know you guys don't really like them, but lately I like them. I'm really into Pokemon. I've been, that's all I watch on YouTube now. I literally just watch YouTube videos of people opening Pokemon cards. Lean Heart, Unlisted Leaf, there's some guy like Nate breaking something, I don't even know. Um, but I've just been watching Pokemon card unpackings and I have been really excited to get the Champion's Path. Uh, elite trainer box that I got and I'm gonna film a video for I'm like super excited about it so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that coming up you might see a lot more Pokemon videos and I know a lot of you guys don't really like that and so I understand if you know you guys decide to unsubscribe or do whatever but for those of you who are sticking with me I appreciate it thank you guys so much my channel has gone through so many different variations I started with just doing subscription boxes and then when that kind of died down I got into just Funko Pops in general and then at some point I got into Funko Pop mystery boxes and now I'm just kind of 
circling back to Pokemon cards, it's just something that I have found I really enjoy opening. And then it's also kind of a good investment, to be honest. I found some old Elite Trainer boxes that I hadn't opened yet at my old house, and I was packing them up and looking at values, and they've like tripled in value, which is crazy. So I'm gonna take a, uh, a note out of a page. I'm gonna take a page out of Cletus's book, and I'm not gonna necessarily like, not like him though, because I'm not rich like that. I'm not gonna hoard a bunch of Pokemon stuff, but you know, when I get my hands on Elite Trainer box, I might try to buy an extra that I won't open, and I'll just kind of leave, and then maybe some point down the line, I'll sell it. I haven't sold not one thing, so who knows when that will be, and if that will ever happen, but one can hope and dream, right? Maybe my house will be inundated with Pokemon cards, but Pokemon cards are much, much smaller than Funko Pop, so there you go. If you guys are interested at some point, like I said, I'm working with Amy. Amy's gonna, Amy's been making me do it. Um, I might reach out to a couple of you and see if I can do a tester where I send you guys, a, like I pack up a, a, a Funko Pop and I like send it to you to see you know, if I know how to ship things, because you guys know how good I am at shipping things. And I still owe a lot of people good giveaway boxes, which are literally all over there on the shelf, packed up. I just need to actually ship them. See, shipping? I hate shipping. I hate shipping things so much, but I'm going to figure it out because I have to. I have to. I told myself that no matter how long I did this channel, that I would stay true to myself and I would unbox things that I enjoyed. I will be honest and say that I kind of lost touch of that a little bit um, within the past couple of years, but I'm taking it back. I am going to, I don't care about the views, I'm going to unbox the things that I like to unbox. And those of you who are willing to stick with me, I say thank you. For those of you who have supported me all the way through, you guys are amazing. This has been a very long YouTube journey of mine, five years now, five and a half years. So I, I just appreciate all of you guys, each and every one of you, and uh, I hope that if you're new here, you'll stay, and if you aren't subscribed, that you'll subscribe. I hope you do all the things, but at the end of the day, I'm going to go back to making the content that I really, really, truly enjoy. So what you see is what is what I want to do, I guess. All right, well, I just thought I'd be honest with you guys and kind of catch you up on what's been going on, and uh, again, thank you guys so much for everything, and I'll see you guys soon. Talk to you later. Bye!